So word is going around that Alberto Del Rio is planning to leave the WWE once his WWE contract is set to expire and he's not planning on signing a new deal. I'm going to be honest. I am one of a few people that is an Alberto Del Rio fan. I know a lot of people will say, oh, the guy sucks, he's garbage, he has no talent, he offers nothing. But the reason why, and this is the reality of all this, Alberto Del Rio is tied down in WWE. Unlike when he was in CML or AAA wrestling in Mexico under the Dos Caras Jr. character, in Mexico, he was able to go to his full potential. All right, and unlike now in WWE, where it's PG, where he can't go all out, you know, it's the reason why people say what they say. But even if that, I always thought Del Rio was charismatic. I always thought the dude was different from everyone else. In some way, I guess. But still, even if that, I think it sucks. I think the guy, you know, has something to offer to the company. You know, whether it's helping out the young talent or helping out, you know, in any type of way. You know, Del Rio had a decent run, let's be honest here. You know, he was a two-time WWE champion, a two-time world champion. Even though the title runs weren't that great, it is not because of him. It's because the way they booked his title wins and the way they booked his title matches. He never really main evented any pay-per-view as champion, just like CM Punk. The same thing. If anything, Alberto Del Rio defended his title always on the beginning of the show or this, you know, the second match on the card before a Divas match. Just like Punk as well, in some way. And obviously Del Rio is 37 years old, so he's not getting any younger. So I can understand why he would want to you know, leave. There have been also reports of him saying that he wanted to retire. And also, he's also frustrated with his position in the company. And I can understand, because if you think about it, Alberto, Alberto Del Rio was a former world champion as of late. You know, he was the champion, he lost the belt to Cena. He had a rematch to Cena, and he lost. And then, after that, you know, he was jobbing to Sin Cara, and obviously now he's being fed to Batista. And I wouldn't be surprised at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. We see Batista versus Alberto Del Rio. And I'm gonna be honest... You know, I don't really care about the match on the count that I won't be that invested in it, but I don't mind it happening on the show. That's my opinion, of course. But again, it's one of those things where, you know, it kind of sucks, you know? It's my opinion, of course. I know people may have a different point of view, which is fine as well. But that's the beauty of all this, you know? We all have different point of views, and we can all agree to disagree, which is fine too. But that's my thoughts, of course. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on all of this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? But then again, this, you know, who to say that Del Rio doesn't re-sign a new deal, you know, before his contract that he has right now ends? Because you never know. A lot can happen from here till then. My thoughts, of course, again, let me know in the comment section of this video. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you later in the next vid. And I'm also got a link to the article down below in the description as well. I'm out. Peace.